the Earth, as well as other planets in our solar system, revolve around a medium-sized star called the Sun. It seems like common knowledge, but it was actually a heavily debated topic. There were actually numerous amounts of theories that were proposed to explain our universe over the years, two of which were most widely accepted. One theory was proposed by Greco-Roman astronomer Ptolemy in the 2nd century CE, and the other by early Polish astronomer Copernicus in the 16th century CE. They both had two major contrasting ideas that eventually shaped many people and aspiring astronomers' minds. Ptolemy believed that our universe was geocentric. He believed that the Earth was in the center of the universe. In this theory, it was proposed that the Earth never moved at all and that all celestial bodies orbited around it, meaning that all stars, the planets, the moon, and even our sun revolved around us. Ptolemy became famous partly due to this theory and became a huge inspiration and highly impacted Greco-Roman society due to his ideas. Before then, little was known about the universe and Ptolemy helped to shape ancient astronomy. He was the only great astronomer of Roman Alexandria. Ptolemy's theory also made an impact in the church. During the 1500s, the church had authority over what society had faith in. After Ptolemy's discovery, it was the geocentric model. Their logic is that if we really did revolve around the sun, we would feel the movement and see the stars move as well. The geocentric theory made people sound special and superior as they were the center of the universe. His geocentric system was widely believed until the 16th century when Copernicus proposed his theory of heliocentrism. Ptolemy's theory ultimately impacted many people and shaped the minds of many for around 1400 years. Fourteen centuries after Ptolemy's discovery, Polish astronomer Copernicus founded the idea of heliocentrism. He believed that the universe was heliocentric, meaning that the sun, never moving, was in the center of the universe. He believed that the earth and other planets revolved around the sun, and that the moon orbited the earth. He also believed that distant stars were motionless, but everything ultimately pointed towards the sun when it came to the center of our universe. Copernicus's theory is ultimately very similar to how we see our universe today. There were a lot of things Copernicus was right about, but he was wrong about some things as well. For example, the sun is not the center of our universe. Copernicus had made a large impact on society. He was a contributor to one of many great discoveries made in the Renaissance era. Copernicus is heavily cited as the father of modern astronomy, and he is the reason why we know this much about space. With the help of his theory, we are able to find out facts about our universe more accurately. Now we know how vast our universe is, and how according to the standard theories of cosmology, there is no real set center of the universe. Any point can be considered the center. Both of them have helped us advance where we are today in astronomy, and there are still lots more to discover.